You are now listening to Scheduling Fate, hosted by author and counseling astrologer, Jamie McGee. For more information, please go to schedulingfate.com. Hi, Pisces. Let's take a look at your 2024 year. Now, this year is going to be a huge bridge between who you are and who you are becoming. There's going to be a lot of endings and beginnings, but you're going to be well supported on your journey. Your top three themes are going to be one, embracing internal and external transformation, two, adjusting your communication style or way of thinking, and three, shared wealth or deep intimate connections. Now, let's talk about why. Now, at the start of the year, Pluto will return to Aquarius. This energy is going to be in a very private realm of your life. The objective is to embrace internal change so that needed endings and new beginnings have the space to take form. Endings and beginnings will thread through the eclipse seasons of 2024 for you. The Libra eclipses on March 25th and October 2nd will bring up themes of legacy, shared wealth, and restoring balance around all of these topics. The goal is to honor the path that has brought you to this moment in your life. And this will allow you to close that chapter with a lot of grace and open the next one with the same positive energy. The Aries eclipse on April 8th will empower you to really look at your core values and encourage you to explore strategies around growth when it comes to your wealth and your resources. And your resources could be skill sets that you need, even if that's just simply self-esteem and really building that courage that you have within. Since the spring of 2023, Saturn has been in your sign and has quietly influenced every area of your life. And at times, this could have felt a little bit isolating because Saturn always isolates you so that he can elevate you. This energy is aiming to help you focus on your purpose and give you a more straightforward, clear path. In the year ahead, Mars will meet Saturn in your sign. You're going to have a lot of energy, but you're also going to have a lot of structure and karma and systems to work with at the same time. Though it may feel frustrating at times, I encourage you to take your time as you work with this energy. Putting safety nets underneath you, really sensing what needs to change and how you can change it, is going to serve you in the near future and the long future. This is going to be the area of your life where we're going to have a Pisces eclipse. The more aware you are in the spring, the better prepared you're going to be for changes on a karmic level in the fall around September. Now, another notable highlight of the year is when we have Jupiter and Uranus meet on April 20th, followed by Venus and Jupiter on May 23rd. This is going to be an abundant period of time in your life that's going to really highlight your daily routines, your rituals, your habits, along with your partnerships and your dreams. It's very possible that needed connections show up just in time and launch you decades into the future. I encourage you to start thinking now, what do you want your daily life to look like? What habits do you want to have? Which habits do you want to let go of? Who do you want in your inner circle? Knowing this is going to be a very powerful tool when it comes to co-creating and pivoting with this energy. On May 25th, Jupiter will move back into Gemini for the first time in 12 years. This is going to be in an area of your solar chart that's all about your foundations, your roots, your home, and your family. Now, if you can reflect back to 12 years ago and think about the opportunities and challenges you had then, You'll be more familiar with the themes that could emerge and you'll know, okay, well, I had this opportunity. How would I amplify it if I had it again? I had this challenge. How would I approach it differently? Jupiter always expands what we focus on, which is why it's so important to be aware of past themes and patterns that we've had so we know how to amplify our future and really co-create and manifest with the universe. As you can see, Pisces 2024 is packed full of karmic change, but I do think that you are set up for success. And that you're going to have a good one. It's all about your intention and your focus. Please don't forget to pick up your free transit and horoscope PDF guide at astrologerjamiemcgee.com forward slash 2024. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I do hope you found some tips and insights. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can find this podcast in the future. You can also connect with me at schedulingfate.com. Look forward to seeing you there and next time.